What up Capricorn Legions? Welcome back to the channel. For those who are new, welcome. For those who are returning, thank you. Welcome to the Tarot Legacy Legion land. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So please keep in mind that not everything I say may resonate. What does not resonate for you may resonate for someone else. You'll know if this message is for you. Um, I'm going to be doing Word on the Street. So what's the Word on the Street for Capricorn? I'm going to be using the Golden Wheel Tarot to pull your message. And I'll end it with an Oracle message from the Gods and Titans Oracle deck. So let's pull up messages. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, we have the five of wheels and the eight of wheels. Ah, money. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. Okay, so this is your overall energy is the five of wheels, the eight of wheels, and the Hierophant. Okay, so a lot of people say they admire, for those of you that are married, Capricorn, they admire your uh, commitment. Most, most importantly, just commitment to self, your ability to have a commitment to self, your ability to commit to a marriage. It's like anything that you set your mind on, especially that's like uh, passion related, work related, like you are committed, you're responsible, you're diligent, like you're persistent in all matters that you do. So this is something that a lot of people say about you is your ability to persevere and to continue being a very authentic, like honest individual, a person, essentially you're a person with integrity is what people are saying. So this is the eight of wheels. This is what I was talking about, huh? Right here. Yeah. This is the eight of wheels. This is what I was talking about. Your prudence, your ability to be very consistent in all things that you do. You're very skilled. So a lot of people are mentioning your skill set, your ability to just be someone that's very multi-talented. I mean, it's everything that you do is very detail oriented. So a lot of people compliment your ability to have a detailed eye. So for a lot of you that maybe design sets, you do fashion, you did, you're a designer, you're a a person that has a very fine tuned eye for analyzing, dissecting, criticizing. You give a lot of good constructive criticism is what I'm hearing spirits say right now. We also have the five of wheels, which is like the five of pentacles in the traditional tarot. So, I mean, there is this energy here of you really being stable, right? You may have insecurities or may have experienced a lot of hardships, losses within your finances, but this is in your past position. So if you've experienced or have come from a place of unemployment, it seems that you replaced that here with the eight of pentacles because the way it's set up is it's the five of pentacles, then followed by the eight of pentacles and finally the higher fin. So it seems to me that a lot of people questioned, you know, your unemployment in the past, if you were like self-employed or if you were kind of a small business owner, they really questioned like your ability to really foster success for yourself. They question your success. But today that is no longer questionable. It's no longer something that people question today. If anything, it's something that people boast to and um, support. Let's get more messages here. Oh, that was fast. The hanged man. Okay. So we, a lot of people, a lot of word, a lot of word on the street is your ability to let go, to release yourself, a sense of freedom. This is you essentially trusting the process, no matter how heavy or hectic my life may get for you. You seem to continue to confront it head on, right? So if there was any uncertainty or uncertainty that people had about you, it seems that you've really released those perspectives about you. You seem to have a very good way of changing people's perspectives about you. So it's like if you hear some, like an opinion someone's making about you on the streets, you're like, hold up, hold up, let me get the facts straight. Like, this is dead, you know? This is period, like this is done. This is the past, it's no longer me. 
while this may have been me and you can continue to speak about my past, like it no longer defines who I am today. Capricorn laying down the law. Sheesh. Okay. Followed by the tower. Mm. Okay. You seem to really light a fire under people. You seem to intimidate and maybe even irritate people at times because you're very a strong, dominant, authoritative, a sign, a Capricorn. People are threatened by you. People talk about how they're intimidated, you're competitive, right? They really speak about you as someone that is not a person that people should mess with, right? Okay, this is followed by the moon card. Okay, so keep in mind that there's a lot of secrets and dreams that people are aware about you, Capricorn. Specifically, I'm hearing secrets here. So, I mean, there is this beautiful symbolism that goes round and round in regard to who you are as a person. And this is something that people try to read behind or in between the lines. So it seems that what people don't know about you, they're making up about you. So be very conscious and mindful of who exactly you're telling things to because a lot of these things are being repeated and they're being repeated in like not the most accurate way. It's almost like they're adding a drama and flair to the truth of who you are as a person, Capricorn. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Comfort, stability here with the Four of Wands. Okay, people are like, how did Capricorn get from unemployment, like, un like unsuccessful nature to being successful? right to being stable to being secure a lot of people question or talk about your possessiveness over material things over people places and things people may say you're a hoarder this is something that um it seems to be said and spoken about a lot of times now we have the knight of wands so people are questioning and saying okay Capricorn is stable, Capricorn is secure, but with the Knight of Wands, this is also about people saying that they respect your hustle, essentially, right? They respect you as a person. They can't deny that your hustle is on point, right? You're consistent, you're determined. I mean, the Knight of Wands is the most like consistent and dependable Knight of the deck. I mean, you're energetic, you're courageous, right? You have this charming, free-spirited energy that just is very optimistic, you're vibrant. So it's like, if someone were to tell you, Capricorn, oh, well, you'll never amount to this, you'll never be this, you can't do this, you're the type of person that's like, well, watch me. Like, I'll show you otherwise. I'll show you different. Yeah, because you're the emperor. People view you as the emperor today and in your future position. People view you as this authoritative, secure, very father-like figure, right? I mean, you've gone from the Knight of Wands to the emperor. What a come up, what a level up right here, right? You're logical. You're protective, you're practical today. You're very dependable and stable. And these are qualities that people mention and speak about today. A lot of people actually refer you and reference you today to like jobs, clients, just people, like if someone says, well, you know, what do you think about working with Capricorn? People are saying Capricorn has come from this. Capricorn was nothing. Capricorn today is everything. Okay, we have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay, we have a mother-like figure. People view you as someone very maternal. For those of you that are female, divine feminine, 
We also have the Five of Wands, so you're very popular today. People really are attracted to you as a person. I mean, you're being pulled in all different types of directions. There may be disagreements or conflicts at times. Uh, people view you, again, as someone that's competitive, maybe even aggressive at times. So they do view you as someone that is hot-headed and is, well, in a way, capable of exploding at any moment in time with the tower. So this is why people are intimidated. Remember, I was telling you this earlier, my cards don't lie. They're clarifying everything I'm channeling for you. With the Queen of Wands, people trust you more today than they ever have in the past. They see confidence, they see passion in you, right? They view you as someone that is self-assured. Spirit, give me one more card. One card only for Capricorn. Okay, Ten of Swords. Interesting. In your final card, your final position, we have the Ten of Swords. People are bitter. They're exhausted. They feel at crisis with you because you've evolved and changed so much over time. I feel like people are bitter about not being able to keep up with you, right? You're leaving people in the dust. So this is word on the street. People are saying, if you wanna compete with Capricorn, consider yourself a loser. Consider yourself losing, right? You are the winner. You seem to continue to be the winner and the leader here in this reading. So that's what people think and say about you. That's the word on the street, yo. Let's look into the Gods and Titans Oracle deck. And let's pull an Oracle message for you. Let's see what the Gods and Titans would like to tell you, Capricorn. Let's get one message for Capricorn. We have Ganesha, which are obstacles. Let's look into the book and let's see what your oracle message is here. Ooh, things just dimmed it down. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Obstacles. Obstacles are removed um, or placed for good reason. Invite in a drama free life. The god Ganesha is one of the most loved of all Hindu gods. Everywhere you turn in modern India, you see the joyful elephant-headed deity balancing on one leg, often riding a mouse, pushing away your worries and negativity. The goddess P P Parvati shaped Ganesha from the earth. When her husband Shiva returned and saw a young man with her, he asked Ganesha in anger, severing his head. Parvati then revealed who Ganesha was, and Shiva sent his soldiers away and instructed them to return with the head of any sleeping being who was faced north. They found an elephant and attached its head to the body of Ganesha. Restoring his life, Shiva declared that from then on, Ganesha would always be loved by the community. People invoke his name as a blessing prior to the beginning of major undertakings like moving, trying out for something, and starting new, new projects of all kinds. Ganesha is an active god, although many immediately think of him as laid back, as he is often pictured seated and with a sweet on his round belly. In the old stories, he was a brave warrior, fighting the demons or dancing wildly, pushing away any obstacles. He carries an ax, which he swings to destroy pride, inertia, 
and vanity. Ganesha is often seen with Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity, and they are often worshipped side by side, particularly by people with jobs who want the double blessing of a successful business without too many obstacles. A statue or picture of Ganesha in your car assists in avoiding accidents and traffic, and he grants peace to a house should his form be placed at the front door or even the door to your room. Ganesha is also the patron of writers. Having penned the Sanskrit Indian epic, the Mahabharata, which nearly 2 million words, with nearly 2 million words total, and is the perfect deity to call upon to break the obstacle of writer's block. Any problems writing papers or that you may have experienced recently, Capricorn, or finding a job, Ganesha should be able to help you. I, for show, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this message. If it resonated, make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up smash that subscribe button if you haven't already knock out that notification bell so you get updated on your next video and most importantly capricorn you already know do not forget to live out your best local